guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be discussing the things that are really important to consider in Canvas when you're moving from one semester to the next. So let's talk about it. So the first thing you really want to think about when you are transitioning from semester one to semester two is what is your district doing with those courses? So for example, do you have a Canvas course that is going to last you the entire year? So from semester one to semester two, or is your, your district going to split those courses up? My district currently splits the two up. So semester one is one Canvas course and semester two is another Canvas course. If that is the case, um, which is, seems to be very common, that second course for semester two is completely empty. Uh, so you need to understand you have to go in and fill that course with content before that new course starts up in the spring. that's really important to think about is what content is going to go into your second semester. This means having things prepared and I'm not saying having every single lesson prepared um, or all of your content from January all the way to June completed. This means you have your home page completed and ready to go. Um, that includes all the important information that you need as well as it's organized the way that you like it. And this is really simple because you can actually just import your previous course into your new course and then go in and kind of adjust some things. You want to make sure too that you're not um, including things into that second course that are from the previous semester because it'll mess up your gradebook. So looking at what new assignments go in, what um, old assignments do I leave out, and how do I get my home page um, set up and working with all my links. The third thing, and this doesn't apply to everyone, is cross-listing. So if you cross-listed your course for semester one, you will need to cross-list again. So if you have multiple sections, you're a teacher who has multiple periods of the same subject, this is the first thing you should do is go in, go to all your courses within the courses of Canvas. Um, and you can find this on the global navigation bar um, right off of your dashboard. And what you'll do from there is see all the different course sections, just like you did at the very beginning of the year, and you'll combine them into one course. If you put content in, if you put content in before you cross-list, when that cross-listing takes place, you will lose your work. While this isn't necessarily the biggest deal because you probably have it saved in a workroom or in the previous class that you have, um, it's just a pain in the butt because then you have to redo it. <laughs> so just something to think about. If your cross uh, classes are cross-listed, you will need to cross-list all those new sections again. All right, well, those are the three main things you should really think about moving forward into the next semester with Canvas. I hope that this was helpful. Please, if you would, subscribe to my channel. That would be wonderful. Leave me a like, and if you have any questions, leave a comment below. I will um, be posting links if anyone needs assistance with uh, things like cross-listing or importing content into the new course. Um, this doesn't take very long. It's just really something that's nice to think about now and prepare for now so you can have a wonderful winter break. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.